Right, I love a head-to-head -head when I have a personal and vested interest in the outcome. And this is certainly one of them. It's a driver head-to-head. -head. It is probably the best performing driver I've seen this year personally, which has been the Rogue, certainly in my hands anyway. But I'm gonna put it up against the Callaway B21. And that has been a real trusted driver in my bag for the last year, 18 months or so. The question is, how do they differ? And should I swap one out for the other? You see, the thing about the B21, it's been a really good performing driver. I'd say it's mega forgiving. And I always believe in sort of shaft head combinations. And for me, this has worked out incredibly well. But there is one thing I've had to consider, and that's my address position. It's a very closed head, as a lot of these sort of draw biased favored drivers are that's a, a mouthful in itself so i've always kind of had to mess around with my setup and address and that sometimes has caused me problems the rogue is a lot more neutral in its setup sits better behind the ball but ultimately what happens when it comes down to performance what happens in terms of yardage performance and what happens in terms of dispersion down fairway i'll test it inside here and then we'll give it a whack out at carden park on the cheshire course see which one comes out on top okay so in terms of a head-to-head -head, i'm going to try and make this simple and very straightforward we're going to identify what are the difference between these two in terms of how they look and then in terms of performance so let's make this as quick as possible the big difference for me is that address very different looking drivers never been a big fan of the b21 in terms of its shape but i've had to overcome that due to its performance if you look at these from a head down shot now behind the ball you will see clear differences it's almost triangular in its uh, back shape on that b21 and you'll see it's also very much more closed than the open face of the rogue that's sitting behind it the rogue itself is a bit of a, an odd elongated shape if you like not the norm but like i said the matte crown is again totally different than the gloss of the b21 and overall this is a big big difference for me visually and if I was comparing the two, I would certainly say the Rogue is an overall winner by a mile in terms of at address at least. Right, really interesting. First two tee shots um, out here on the golf course. Fairly narrow fairway. Rogue first. It was a bit of a sort of uh, a guidey one if you like, but it's down there. We're on the fairway. Similar sort of swing with the B21 and something which is definitely apparent. Took off very, very similar, but you feel that sort of toe end just closing a little bit. And you'll see towards the end of its ball flight where it's starting to make its way left of the fairway, turned over a little bit. And I think we'll be somewhere in amongst the trees. That's one of the major issues with that B21 and the difference that I hope to see in some ways continue. And prove to me that the rogue, that neutral position, does exactly what you hope it does, stay neutral. And the B21 closing, helping those people who fade the ball, does exactly that as well. Right, it's a great place to finish it on course on the ninth here at Carden Park. It's a great driving all stroke index one. First shot you're going to see me hit is the, the B21 and I'm literally aiming out right expecting that bit of a draw to come in but always guarded against the hook down the left which is out of bounds on this hole. So a typical mental struggle that I have with that club in particular. I hit a real solid shot, don't turn it over, really conscious not to. Ball flight superb, everything about that drive is as good as I've got. Then switch over to the Rogue and I've gone with a similar sort of line and you'll see straight away the difference in the ball flight but the difference in the fact there's no movement in flight whatsoever. It's a ball flight that just goes straight. And I think just goes straight is the holy grail and particularly with a driver for me. So in essence what I've learned out on the golf course is they're both really, really good drivers, but one is without doubt draw bias, which is obvious, we all know that. And for me on a personal level, I just have to make a few adjustments at address, which aren't ideal. And that Rogue just seems to be ultra straight right now. I can't seem to miss a fairway. Anyway, back indoors, let's just see what happened in terms of data and if any of that rang true in the numbers right so you know my feelings at least from out on the fairway and very much favoring the road for all the reasons i've already suggested but although i've seen performance out on the fairway that's the reality what happened in terms of dry ball data i'm going to start with the b21 
A really interesting set of numbers. Like I said, a lot of this is driven by my own personal sort of interest in this product. I'm going to put the full set of numbers up on screen now. And what you'll see is quite a few variables. And that's not something I particularly like. Um, we've got a lowest carry of, what is it, 230. But we can get the ball out there at 253. And for me, the B21 has always been a drag. It's always been long, potentially long. And certainly that 253 ball, there's a couple of them. Another one in 252. It certainly gets the ball out there. But I've also had an issue with the odd ball that's not travelled so far. And also variables in terms of launch angle. And I'll get to that in dispersion very, very soon. Bear that in mind. Onto the Rogue. If I'm honest with you, I didn't hit a great deal of balls because I achieved the numbers very, very quickly. And as you can see, very, very consistently. And that's the key to this product. In those shots, the consistency is incredible. Both in the yardage in terms of carry, but also in terms of that launch angle is very, very consistent, as is the spin number, as are the ball speeds. It just does the best the B21 does in my hands, but it does it almost every time. Then I'm going to throw you up a dispersion chart. The red dots are that of the Rogue, so clearly there's one winner by a mile in terms of dispersion. But there's also some tightly packed blue dots in amongst all that as well. But it's those three that leak to the left, and that's that issue what I said out on the fairways and earlier on, that closed face can cause me to hit a little bit of a hook. A little bit of a hook is maybe uh, an understatement. And that's the thing that I prefer so much more than the Rogue, is the neutral setup. But that's me personally. I would also end by saying, if you struggle with a left to right shot, a fade, the B21 is a fantastic club to have because it will no doubt help to neutralize that. But in my case, I'm fighting against it a lot of the time. I'm adjusting my setup and the Rogue's performance has been incredible. I keep saying every review I've done because it's featured in a number of videos right now. For me, personally, it's been a, so consistent in terms of performance. I can't believe just how good it is. Without doubt, will be in my bag to start this season off. No doubt about that. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. We try to keep it as brief as possible. I have a tendency to waffle, but there you go. That's me done. We're out, and I'll see you very, very soon.